Hi guys, on this video I'm going to be talking about 1KX protocol. Its airdrop is confirmed and there are a few steps you need to do, a few process you need to take for it to become eligible for this um, airdrop. And this video is meant for you to do all of that, okay? Um, very quickly, my name is Victor Morgan and this is Vmorgan Tech. This is the channel where I bring you updates on opportunities for you to make money on the crypto space via airdrop, testnet, and every other opportunity that makes sense. Um, so without any further ado, let's get right into it. This article was shared, okay, by um, Ed Boy on, on Twitter. So you can do well to follow him at NDDgram. Um, do well to follow him. There's a lot of content that you guys must be interested in if you're interested in um, airdrops and all of that, okay? So do well to follow him and go through his tweets. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is if you come over to the link in the description, it's going to take you over here. Uh, you're going to have to connect your wallet to, you have to connect your wallet. But before you connect, I mean, if you do not have MetaMask, do well to um, add MetaMask extension to your browser or download the MetaMask application for mobile devices. Um, the link for you to add this extension to your browser is going to be in the video description. All right. Um, so you're going to have to connect to MetaMask, okay? As you can see, I'm connected. Um, I'm connected automatically. That's because I've connected before. But yeah, you are going to need to have to sign that connection and approve that connection via um, MetaMask. All right. So um, um, another thing you're going to need on MetaMask is that you're going to need the ZK Sync Testnet Gully Network. Okay, as you can see it over here. All right, so very quickly, here's how to add it, okay? Here's how to add it. You're going to come over here, tap here, tap Add Network, okay? And then you're going to fill in the details over here. All right, so the details you're going to fill in over here is this, okay? Um, ZK Sync Testnet Gully for the network name and etc. okay? So you can pause the video right here um and copy all of this and okay but you can copy this yes so then to pause it uh all of this will be in the video description for you to copy and um, paste um to into the respective field okay uh so once you do that you're going to save that and you're going to notice that you have the zk sync testnet Broly network good to go now the next thing you're going to need is Test for set test tokens, okay, which is this. So once you tap this one, um, you're going to see a notification at the top here confirming if you've received the test tokens or not. As you can see, test token sent to your address and transaction like this, so and so, blah blah blah. So quite simple. Um, test token is going to be in your address, but you're not going to see them over here, okay. Um, a way to know if you have the test tokens is to come over to the swap, that's the trade swap, okay? And then you select uh, asset. Uh, for now, it shows zero. So I'm going to quickly refresh this page. All right, guys, as you can see, page refreshed. And um, as you can see, um, I have these tokens in my wallet. Uh, USDC, I have DAI, I have BTC, and I have Blink, okay? So the first thing I'm going to need to do is to swap, okay, make swaps and all of that. So I'm going to swap from link to any token that, okay, to Ethereum. So I'm just going to swap um, 40 link. And uh, so what's it going to give me? It's going to give me 0 0.00346, cool. So I'm going to swap that. And then I'm going to sign the transaction on Metamax, single steps. So I'm going to still reconfirm that transaction on Metamax. Okay, signature request, sign that. And yeah, swap done, as you can see, swap done from link to it. So you can do this multiple times across um, different tokens, okay? You can do for USDC and DAI and all of that, okay? So just do that as much as possible. Um, the next is for you to come over to pool, okay? Because 1KX is actually a lending and borrowing um, AMA, okay, AMM, sorry. Um, so what happens with 1KX is that you have the ability for you to add liquidity using only one pair. You know the conventional way of adding liquidity whereby you're going to choose two pairs, 
and add liquidity to both pairs but on one ks you can add liquidity to only one pair okay and you really do not have slippage issues on one kx so what we're going to do is while we are on the pool section okay um it's assumed that we are lending okay we are lending uh, so we're going to type on new pool and then we are going to select an asset so for this i'm going to select the btc asset and i'm just going to supply 20. okay as you can see this is the lp tokens to receive 19.95 good i'm going to add liquidity and i'm going to confirm that on metamask okay sign transaction sign again and yeah as you can see deposit done deposit done very good and you're going to see it at the top um it's going to show it's going to show over here as you can see liquidity or your share your your lp share okay it's 0 0.0019 percent okay so for every liquidity you had for every uh, liquidity you had to any of the token already all right it's going to come up here and all of that so the next thing you're going to do after adding liquidity is that you're going to borrow okay i'll advise that you do this over and over again do this multiple times do this for different assets okay at least i don't know but maybe five or seven or whatsoever all right so i'm going to add liquidity to die right now and i'm just going to add 30. um so that, that's because i'm borrowing okay um i'm borrowing um so as you can see the borrow limit is 0 0.001 so i'm going to use the zero limit of 0 0.001 uh and then i'm going to tap on borrow okay so that's 0, 0, 0 0.001 is um that's what it is so whatever it is just um make choose your transaction um details and confirm that so i have to confirm this transaction again so what's happening over here is i'm borrowing btc okay i'm borrowing btc as you can see i've received this and i'm using die as a collateral for for my uh for my borrow okay so i, I deposited die and i'm borrowing um btc so that's good to go and then i can repay um i can repay what i borrowed as you can see i can repay what i borrowed um and all of that you can slide that to 100 percent and repay that but um, i don't have to do that right now so this is all you need to do from um uh, trades and then you go to the pool borrow from multiple assets i mean no um and add liquidity to different assets uh, different tokens and then borrow also to okay it's going to help you uh, a lot um, the end and the portfolio and stats uh, options are really not working yeah are really not working so um so that's that that really cover up everything in this guide um the next part is for you to we can review this picture so it says um how to get one kx token is for you to provide liquidity to the following pools as you can see rav btc at one kx token usdt usdc die link etc borrow on one kx trade on one kx refer a friend and use one kx regularly to be qualified for the edge of as i've said before don't just do this once and go to sleep okay you need to do this over and over again have a schedule to do this okay for you to be qualified for the edge job. All right, this has come to, we have come to the end of this video. So if you like what I've sent, do well to smash the subscribe button and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Help me to get to 1K subscribers. Cheers.